Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to monitor change data capture events usage in Salesforce. Using simple SOQL on platform event usage metric entity, we can easily find how many events are delivered and how many events are published from change data capture events. So through this uh, queries, we can easily find out how many events are getting published and how many sub subscribers are getting those uh, e uh, events. Um, there is a limit that only 50,000 uh, events can be uh, delivered within a 24 hour window. Uh, so we can easily find out what is our current usage and based on that we can request Salesforce for additional add-on licenses and we can scale our application. So the entity where we can query is platform event usage metric and uh, there is a column called name. We have to check change events delivered. So this is uh, 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 the number of events that got delivered to multiple uh, subscribers. And next is uh, published events. Instead of delivered, we have to use change underscore events underscore published. So this will say how many uh, events are published within the time range whatever we are giving. So there are two fields to set this uh, date time range. One is start date and the other one is end date. So in the above query, it will return the change data captures events um, that uh, the count uh, value that were delivered on 31st August 2022. I'm using 31st starting from 00 to 1st September 00. So it will be before uh, uh, 00. So it will uh, return uh, the, uh, the number of uh, events that were uh, delivered to multiple subscribers on 31st August. Similarly, I have a query for published events. And uh, this above query will return change data capture events that were published on 1st September 2022. So I'm starting from 00 date and time till 2nd September 00. So it will be less than that. So it will return all the events that were delivered on 1st September. Uh, so when we run this SOQL uh, in uh, developer console, it will run in uh, GMTR UTC times because Salesforce stores date and time in GMT or UTC. Uh, so if you are uh, in a different time zone like Eastern Standard, Standard Time Zone or Pacific Standard Time Zone, do the mathematic for GMT and UTC and accordingly update your start date and end date, date time ranges. So. So let's run this query and see. So I am in developer console. I'm going to check the published events on 1st September 2022. So in total on 1st September 2022 during GMT or UTC in my org two events were published in total. Similarly, you can also check it for delivered. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.